Hello, it's Priscilla in Florida with the rain and the lawnmowers are still going and the wind and the chimes will blow. Anyway, so this is um, a video I did the other day and then I took a skin, this area here, and I just popped it on top of it to play with it and I, I liked the way it looked myself and my husband was like, ooh, that's cool. So anyway, I'm here to let you know that if you ever have skins and you have a piece of art that you're not sure that you like that much of, go ahead and play with them. Ooh, thunder. Uh, so long as the lightning doesn't hit me, I'm all good. Anyway, so you can, um, you can use Floetrol to stick stuff down and you can coat it over the top also to make it an even stronger bond. I did a couple of these on 16 by 20s years ago and it wasn't an issue. Um, they're still hanging in there quite nicely. We're going to do something really weird today. Uh, I got requested to do a dip. I have glasses on my head. Cool. Hopefully you can hear me. And my my plan is this. I'm going to use this 14 by 14 canvas. And this is what I cut my edge catchers out of. This is the plastic sheet that comes in the bulk packages of 16 by 20 canvases from Michaels. I definitely recommend grabbing a stack of those at some point in time if you can. Um, anyway, so my idea is to give myself a little, as long as I can get the paint to come out, is to give myself a little line of demarcation around the outside. Because I'd like to be able to have something to stick my canvas into. I'm going to leave the cap off that. Hopefully I've got something to do that with. There we go. Put this aside for now, even though it's raining. Hopefully it stays away a little bit. So. This is my idea. I'm going to put some colors out on this. And I think I'm even going to take my new Princeton spatula and spread them around to, to a certain degree. And I'd like to see if I can make a pattern I actually like. <laughs> I hope. I don't know if that's possible. But we're playing. And so there's not only no rules. I'm not really worried about what happens. I just want to see. And I'm going to do... Some weird colors, I guess. So that's the way that goes. I don't have to tip them. I am thinking that there's a possibility that I may decide to put some uh, some blaster silicone on there. That I have some right here. Also have my gold. So no matter what I do here, it's going to wind up being sort of the reverse of it because we're going to pick it up and well, we're not going to pick anything up as far as I can tell yet. I'm going to dip. I don't usually dip but I can see the size of the painting area that I need and I can eventually flip it over and that is going to be probably what I decide to do. But in basically making an artwork on this plastic sheet and then let's hope the rain is lucky for us today. And then I will dip that 14 by 14 canvas into it. And I was kind of hoping that I was going to not go overboard with the colors but that's really a hard call for me. Wow, okay, well, she died doing what she loved. <laughs> okay, then. Never mind. It is what it is. Ooh, I like that t those two together. I always, always like orange and pink together anyway. And I do have to use enough paint to cover everything. Let's give that a bit of a shake. I'd really like to just take my time and, you know, create what I like the look of. And I don't want to go too crazy, like I said, on the colors. But um, trying to do a painting in 20 minutes is a chore of its own. And then <laughs> trying to compose it. I mean, that's the nice thing about fluid art is if you know what you want to do in advance, it's raining really hard now, um, <laughs> you could probably yeah, we're going to get wet soon. Okay, well, never mind. That looks like the same exact color, and that's okay. I have some really nice dark blue around here, and I'd like to use that. I'm also thinking about some black and some white. Hopefully you can still hear me, and I kind of wonder about that. Yeah, that's Angel's Bowling again. League afternoon. I don't know how I feel about you know what's going to come about from using all this paint in this way. 
I know I'm only going to see on the canvas what I... Wow, that's really coming down. I thought it wasn't going to be quite this bad. So I'll just shut up for a while. Somebody after 11,000 people, somebody finally told me I talked too much. <laughs> okay, never mind. And I'm going to use some more white. Cool. I'm actually enjoying the uh, negative ions. I feel very neat. So let's do the black. I'd like it if this would work. I'm getting wet. <laughs> I'm having a shower. So what's missing? I think probably a little more of my favorite pink is missing. I know my favorite purple is missing. That's kind of purple. I don't even know if that's going to show up. And I can actually let this slide around a little bit before we do anything. Which sounds like a fun thing to try. Just to see what's going to happen. And I could probably dip it to itself if I wanted to. Hey, that'd be cool. Check that out. <laughs> I just had to. Sorry. The canvas beneath us is... Uh, Okay, we'll flip those over. I'm going to throw a little more. A little more orange up there. It's an all color piece again. Go figure. Alright, this is my favorite. My favorite metallic blue. Not that I know if it's going to show up on the front or not. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the silicone, if I want to put it at all. Listening to the rainfall, having a nice shower. I've got no red in there. I'm not sure I like any of this right at the moment, but uh, I'm going to admit to you I'm a little freaked out by the rain, so you'll understand. Why I might be distracted. All right, well. going for it. Whatever will be, will be. Gonna let that kind of merge together. A little bit. And then once I dip, so I'll head it in one direction, yeah. Once I dip it, we may play with it. I could swipe this. I really like this area over here. We got nine minutes left. Assuming I live through this. It's a lot of colors. Probably way more than I had intended before I got deluged on. I should probably stop adding them, but my OCD is kicking in. So. We shall see what happens. Okay, where's my protein? Oh, yeah. A lot of water. <laughs> Let's do it. You ready? I don't even want to go sw square. There's 
some lightning. I am going to try and wipe off my spatula. Why don't I just wipe that on the edge of the canvas? Put my two spatulas right in the buckets so that are getting more and more water in them. And I am going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to flip this over. So we can see what's there right now. There's a lot of green right there right now. That's pretty. I don't know where to put it right now, honestly. Hang on. I've got water, water everywhere. Bummer. Well, I want to keep that dip, for sure. Hopefully it doesn't drift down too far. I'm standing in a puddle. <laughs> well, I'm thinking that I'm going to use what I've got going here and drag another spatula through some things. Maybe take my opportunity as I see it and fill in a little bit where I see missing canvas. that. It would be cool if the rain would stop. <laughs> well, there's no chance of me getting too hot right at the moment, I want to say. Yeehaw! <laughs> I didn't make myself up a pan of colors, and that's going to be some other time, I think. But I would be putting either my spatula into a pan of colors and, and pulling it out so I could fill spaces. Well, I don't actually want right now to add anything to this. But I have some nice colors on the canvas on the edges here, and I think I'm going to cover my sides as long as I've got that opportunity. I'll just turn that right around. I love the, uh, the plastic covered Michael 16 by 20 canvases because if I use them as a base and there's no holes in them, then I've got great skins. They come right off. It's just perfect. If I can lift it to be even better. So I'm just touching up the sides, hoping the rain stops. It's a little muddy. I'm going to wipe my, uh... oh, lightning. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm going to wipe my spatula off as long as I can stop focus. Woo! That's a big one. sort of scrape that right up. I don't mind if the sides aren't perfect. They usually wind up doing their own thing anyway as after you put some color on. They sort of divide back into some colorfulness. We're not. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not too concerned with much of anything right now as ever living through this moment. <laughs> I can see little bits of white canvas and there is enough paint from that dip to just stick my spatula right in there. I like the colors more than I thought I would. And I can add some more where I feel I might want to. And I want to. Not get hit by lightning. And as I agitate the paint, even though we have not used the torch yet, there's a bubble or something, whatever you are. I can keep dragging my spatula through there. That's pretty cool, actually. I always think dips are cool. I just don't think there's enough artistic involvement, but I'm feeling kind of artistic right now, so that be the last thing I feel. <laughs> Hopefully not. That neon purple is a folk art, multi-surface neon, and uh, it dries much darker than you see here. So if you do buy it, you should not expect it to maintain its integrity as far as 
the brightness factor goes, it's still a very pretty color for sure. And I love using it. And sometimes, depending on what the background was, it does stay bright, but not very often. All right, it looks like I've got all four sides covered for the most part. And I'm not minding that they somewhat darkened up a little bit. The rain is slowed down. I don't know what else I want to do to this other than use my finger to help pull down some of the paint on the edge. We do have a fairly good coverage on the edge. Not perfect, but nothing's perfect anyway. I've got a slightly muddy edge over there, but I don't really care right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It'll be okay. The other ones are great. It's like three out of four. And I can move this anywhere I want because it's waterproof, more or less. Anyway, so I think I have a brand new skewer. And somebody said, could you do a dip and then do your magic to it? And I don't know what my magic is other than whatever I'm inclined to do at the moment. So that's what I'm going to do. I think first things are, think about torching. we got two minutes left. If you want to contribute to keep my studio going, oh, we got some nice cells coming out. That would be awesome. I have two links, both in my description, under my video. One for Patreon, which is a monthly donation, and the other one is for PayPal, and that's a one-time or a monthly donation. Both of those icons are also on my YouTube header, which, and those links will bring you right to those pages. I have an Amazon link on my page where I have put a bunch of things that I like and a few things I'd like to have. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to play some more. And I'm not sure what else I really want to do. We used up 20 minutes and it's very colorful and very pretty. So, you know, even if it isn't something that I had to work really hard at, I guess I still love it. So I'm not going to complain, and I'm sure someone out there will appreciate knowing that this can be done. I want to go grab that that other piece and show you, but um, it's too wet out here to do that. And I will probably just let that other piece dry. I want a little orange over there. Because I can. That might be my first because I can in this video. I'm going to keep wiping off my spatula and wiping off my skewer. I'm going to pick up some paint over there. See if I can spread it around a little bit. I want a rain X. I really do. I don't know how it'll work in this weather though. That, that's funny. Rain X and rain. If I want to touch up my sides at all, where it's dark, I can just dab some some color on there. Not a problem. I'm liking the uh, I'm liking the little black cells that are popping popping up all over. I don't know if we want to add a few spirals or not. That means we've got a minute left, and, <laughs> and I'm going to have another shower! Woohoo! Yes, sir. Alrighty. Well, this is Priscilla from Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, stay out of the rain! <laughs> and it was a pleasure having you. I love hearing from you. I love all your very generous comments. I appreciate them very much. Happy to answer your questions, so go ahead and do that. And I'm kind of happy the rain is seemingly going slow. I don't know about that one. But I can add a few things for the next 20 seconds before you're gone. As I set my timer for 19 instead of 20. The timer, by the way, for anybody who wants to know, is because my camera shuts off at 20 minutes. Shall we rain X? Let's do it. Where is it? It's right there. All right, I'm gonna do it. Are you ready? Here goes nothing. This is the rain X. I'm up this high. There we go. So there's a dip with some spirals and some rain X in the rain. <laughs> and a few 
few other things. 